Esteban here with 50 Cent. What's good, man? It's good, man. It's good to be here. Something happened across the street at Madison Square Garden where 50 Cent got to the old 50 Cent and you was, you know, <laughs> you and and, and uh, Steve Stout was on the floor at the garden. Yeah, and it yeah. had an interesting conversation, yeah. but then recently Dame Dash just went on a, a rant uh -huh. also about Steve Stout. What is it with Steve Stout that everybody has an issue with him? He's a good business person, right? It just, like when I actually, I had a conversation with him after that, following that situation. Like I always felt like we, we didn't have communications following a meeting that I had with him. And it felt like he just wanted confirmation of what he thought was going on on the street. And mm. he ain't that. You know what I'm saying? He never been that. So like if he's pretending to be that, it's, it's the wrong thing to do. And I, I'm going, so what is it, like the problem? Like when I'm approaching him, I'm saying, if it's a problem, then let it be there. That's the part I'm good at. It's when you identify with who you actually are. Because you right now, you've been confronted with it. So it's like, right. got to say it now. He, he was on the air and he said, uh, well now that he's not with the actual record company and maybe he can get the record played. And now it's playing, Steve. See how your mouth makes things happen? Good guy, man. You, know, I gotta, you just gotta keep him talking. <laughs> and the more he talk, the more things go my way. Now, we gotta talk about Animal Ambition. There's a record on there that you said, you know, is the in the club of this album, and that's right. Smoke mm -hmm. with Trey Song. So just talk about working with Trey and you know, and, and how that record came about. Well, I mean, it was interesting. The first time I worked on that song, it was for Dre. Like, we worked on the chorus a few times. I changed the chorus around a couple times, and then the Trey vocals came back, and I was like, uh, yo, what do you think if I actually write this record, like, from my perspective, like, and he was like, all right, you can give it a try. They're like, the sons that Dre, like, like, his music, it'll sit there for so long. <sighs> Detox. That, that it's like, it's hit music playing then. Right. You know what I mean? And it, they'll go, to him it's old, like, nah, that's the old, my old beats. This is my new stuff right here. And right. it's like, you crazy? That is, you know how hot that is right there? <laughs> Hold up. Like, and it's, I don't care when the producer made the track. Some of the tracks I, I rapped to on Animal Ambition are two, three years old. Right. Like, and it's like, I don't care that you had a good idea three years ago that wasn't right at that moment, but it's the right thing to do right now. You know, it's just, right. the, and it, it, it works out. But after after I got him to agree to let me, you know, use the song, I, um, I had to contact Trey to get him to re-vocal it. You're always like on the pulse of mm -hmm. hip hop. Like, you know, you, you have a great ear for talent. Kid Kid, to me, is like the next. He's an amazing, amazing MC. Who, beside the people that you're working with, right. is on your radar and inspiring you right now? Someone, you know, on the come up, so to speak. I, I liked a lot of the artists that, that came out really excited to see Titty Poy get a shot. Like, see, two checks. Because he was there the entire time. Like, right. I know, I got a good relationship with Shaka and Ludacris. And I seen him in DTP the entire time he was there and I seen him break out. We gotta talk about one of the biggest stages in hip hop, and that is the Summer Jam right. stage. And this year, 50 Cent is headlining. Yeah, they let me back. They, they, why, why'd you say, no, it's been a while since you've been on there. So why but, do you think, why, for, why did you say they let you back? A lot of the New York City, uh, like radio station, they got a separate studio for me to go to, to go. <laughs> If you're on the uh -oh. radio, or they got like Summer Jam. I've had uh, memorable moments. Yes, that's at a the good Summer word. Jam, and <laughs> I have a colorful background and history that will attend right. the Summer Jam. Like, they will be there because all of New York comes out for the actual show. It's, it's usually those things that are actually relevant within our culture are showcased that night. Come on, man. You're the headliner, though. So you got to. Oh, I got. I got I'm not even gonna act like I don't got a plan. <laughs> it wouldn't be right if no, you did. No, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I've been already on this one because it, it, it's, it's important and it marks those periods, the time. Like I, I want the presentation to be strong. It's impressionable enough for oh, people yeah. to be looking forward to what comes next for me. You know? Right. Well, listen, man. Always a pleasure. Thanks so much for dropping totally. by, man. Chopping it up.